Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today my dear friends uh, I will talk about the windlass and the mooring system. Thank you that you have joined here to our big channel and as I have told already you are the heart of the channel. Uh, thank you that you propose some content to make the videos and today I have this system for overview uh, there is kind of uh, systems that mostly are similar or they have uh, some small differences and first of all uh, we will talk about the things that I have seen on board and what is the key elements to watch and be careful on such systems first of all we will see the system uh, in overall itself we have a hydraulic tank which is located here and also have some level gauging system there is some hydraulic pumps which increase the hydraulic pressure and with this hydraulic pressure which will be distributed from this uh, directional valve and then all the oil will be passed here through the system and turn our uh, mooring winch or uh, our wind lasses. So uh, our hydraulic oil, it's a specific oil which is used uh, for such applications. It can be hydraulic oil 32 or 64. Uh, it's it's very very important thing that always we give our oil for testing and with that way we will have as much as possible a clear view of what is going on our system in overall from the oil testing we will see if we have any kind of water and the presence of water can be only here from this system from the cooling water in that case we will understand that we have a problem on our heater and also we can understand that there is another uh, water entering from somewhere else in the system but it's a really really difficult to enter the water to our hydraulic system because as you know this system mostly has a higher pressure than the outside pressure of the piping so only we can be seeing some kind of moisture that can be collected through the time and then we will take some uh, considerations from uh, our analysis and what kind of solutions we can do together uh, and to have a communication together with the technical department so uh, another good thing is to check all the hydraulic gauges, all the level gauges. I had the experience that uh, during standby and during mooring, uh, one of the pressure gauges explode and a lot of oil was lost from the tank. So during the operation, also the deck department and also the engine department, because some of the hydraulic tanks are located uh, in the steering gear or uh, in other places depends the vessel how it was designed so the crew involved mostly in adequate time one of them must check if the system are okay and we do not have any kind of leakages because the alarm the low level alarm is located somewhere here and I will show you uh, with my pencil here so as you can see all this oil will be empty if you will have some damage here or some pressure gauge on the line will be exploded here or if you will have some leakage which is uh, below the deck and it's not visible it's located in some room uh, inside the steering gear so that's why we need to make a leg regular checks and also a good monitoring for the operators 
is to check the amperage and see that the values of the motors are inside uh, the working limits, working operation uh, limits and not exceed here on the red scale because as we know if uh, our motor will work in this area here on the red so our motor probably will be trip and uh, will be trip if the protecting system inside the panels uh, are properly set it and maintained so one of the thing also which is also very very important is to check the monitors uh, and see if your panels are working properly if your lamps are uh, operating properly to check uh, the electrician must making checks inside the panels to see if there is any signs of uh, cables that are burned or any kind of uh, overcurrent relays that probably will be damaged all this is visible and also uh, our indication one of the indication that uh, the cable and the system was working under very very severe load is the indication that there is a presence of smell inside the panel <coughs> also by monitoring the panels inside you will find a lot of things and also you can compare between them to see if there is any kind of modifications made uh, by previous crew or there is any kind of uh, papers inside that has been left so there will be some indication about uh, searching some kind of problem which uh, was before in the past so you will have a better clear view of the system what is uh, the weakness of the system and where the problem was before as we can see also here we have a safety valve in case for some reason the pressure will be increased more than uh, 200 48 bars and here we have megapascals it will be open will uh, depressurize all the oil back again here on our main tank so all the hydraulic system and all that kind of hydraulic systems has some kind of uh, overpressure valves and safety valves also here and here to not make damage because as we know the liquids are really really uh, has tremendous power and also in case that something has happened my opinion is to not good getting close to not touch also the piping because a, a rupture piping with such pressure will make a really really tremendous damage so before you attempt to work in such system you must be sure that uh, your system is 100% depressurized everything is switch off and also you have made a proper risk assessment and you have filled the proper uh, permit which is a pressure permit working on a high pressure equipment permit so probably also you will make some cold work and also uh, before you attempt any work as I have told before, you must as much as possible to have all that kind of spares. So uh, this kind of pumps has uh, couplings. Most of them has some kind of couplings between the motor and the hydraulic pump. And they must be changed because we have seen this kind of couplings is uh, some kind of uh, spider which is something like that and try to order the original spiders because the aftermarket spiders are not so good uh, for maintaining uh, for three or four years probably they will work also five years but after that from the heat they will be exhausted so uh, have this kind of pair 
so you will be able to replace because if you will not, not replace them the spiders you know what will be uh, the next damage the seal of the pump or of the shaft of the pump itself uh, another thing that uh, you will need to take in your consideration to have also these directional valves like spare and as you can see they are quite similar only here we have this kind of difference here it's a little bit different uh, and as much as possible have this kind of valves so you will be able to switch them off in case that there is kind of a problem or there is a leakages also uh, the forward winches and the mooring winches uh, always uh, there can be found some moisture in the oil so they must be close monitor and as much as possible the proper lubrication of all points by greasing uh, by checking the lubrication and uh, the enclosure of this equipment will be really really prolong uh, the life of such equipment there is some equipment that uh, on the panel here there is located some buttons and there is a low low mode low mode high mode and high high mode so always start your hydraulics in the low mode and then go to high step by step a, a proper usage of that kind will prevent any kind of trips and there is many many times that there is some kind of trips and um, the operators are not familiar for resetting them inside the panel so there is always a call uh, for electrician also okay this is normal but uh, everybody must be familiar with that operations and the system can trip itself depends uh, as I told you before, depends on uh, how sudden is the load. So if something uh, will reach the limits, the system will be tripped and so on. And the operator will not have uh, the mooring winches or the windlass. We have seen many, many times from the operators, uh, mostly from the deck uh, operators because uh, they make it suddenly and also uh, this is the improper handling of such equipment I believe really really uh, there must be some kind of familiarization to show all the system itself how it works uh, only in the operating level okay for reset also it's better to make some kind of uh, training to uh, teach the person who is involved okay only for resetting to not touch any kind of panels inside or some electrical parts because uh, they can be another kind of problems and just understand because uh, in some events when the vessel uh, trying to fast or to make some operation maybe there is not any time and until find the electrician until the electrician will go on forward probably they will pass around 15 minutes and maybe the vessel uh, do not have uh, such time for waiting so the handles also can get damaged by the time we have replaced a lot of them uh, there is a lot of rust a lot of uh, bad weather conditions on the deck also the piping can be rusted through the time some hydraulics piping and some of them really really my dear friends uh, the sizes and what is a good thing for you to see the connections what kind of connections do you have on the windlass and the mooring winches so you will order some of them four or five pieces to have in case you need to make some 
uh, application with piping to replace some piping or to change the connections because these kind of connections they are made from simple metal there is not any kind of stainless steel and they will get rusted mostly uh, about in 10 years old vessels you will get some kind of such problems with rusted pipes on um, the windlass and the mooring winches and uh, the painting itself does not provide a clear protection of the system there always must be application of the grease on the top so the grease will be uh, expel any kind of moisture will be collected and there is a need always of maintenance the maintenance never stops because uh, as we have seen if something you will leave it will leave also uh... so here there is our motor we have our motor so what is going on with this hydraulic motor when we give the signal for slack or tension a represent a directional valve will be switched in the position here and as we can see here in this section now now our valve is a, as we call in the natural position this is the natural position for the windlass and this is the natural position for the mooring winch um, so in case that we are giving a slack low speed or slack high speed there will be a directional valves change and for the slack the oil will be flow to this direction so this kind of selection will be switched here so the oil will be getting from this side and then return back to the so uh, our motor our hydraulic motor will change the direction of turning and the speed also the amount the supply amount oil will be increased also try as much as possible to monitor always your equipment to listen if there is any kind of abnormal noises as we tell the amperage tells a lot for the overall condition any kind of trips and also if the weather conditions are cold start your system from before just to heat up your oil and also uh, slowly slowly start to in the low speed start to circulate the oil through the equipment so it will be heated and you will not get any kind of trips from high amperage so what we, we have seen uh, from the department let's say they like to slack some kind of uh, ropes or wires and they're going direct and start the pumps on the high mode and start directly to slack or to tension so after that after a while the system will be trip from the high uh, amperage and this is one of the most uh, common causes so what you will need to do you will get here on the panel and there is a reset button inside for a reset of the system but before you reset the system you must uh, always know and after that you must also check that the amperage is inside the normal level if the amperage is exceeding uh, the normal level you must not operate the system and it's time for rectifying and find what is the cause where is that cause and for what reason the hydraulic system are really really reliable systems are good system and it's very very difficult to make damage to them so as much as possible try to understand the system how it works and give some attention on some key points that we have set today here in this channel thank you my dear friends that you have stay tuned don't forget to share this material so we'll get as much as possible uh, a lot of 
marine engineers here so we will share our knowledge and we will get as much as possible better another thing that i will request for you please comment what problems you get with your windlass and the mooring system thank you again and i will see you in the next video bye bye